eighth out of eight in the playoff standings, running 20th. Oh, where are you going, Brandon Brown? Oh, he, oh, he overcorrected. He's in the he's head on it. Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Today, we've got the second race of the round of eight for the Xfinity Series playoffs from Texas Motor Speedway. Last time out, we were in Kansas. If you missed that episode, I'll put a link to that in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Highly recommend you go back and watch that one before you watch today's episode. We are in good shape. We're on easy street for the next two weeks as we have punched our ticket to Phoenix. So now we can just have some fun at Texas and Martinsville. Let's take a look at the playoff standings before we head out to the track. As you can see there, we are advanced on because of our win at Kansas. Very, very cool. Harrison Burton's now in second. Cindric third. Chastain moves up into fourth. Chase Briscoe had a terrible race at Kansas and is now below the cutoff line. A little bit of a surprise there, but still only seven points. Plenty of time. He can definitely bounce back into the top four, but he cannot have another bad finish. Allgaier's down there along with Gregson. Justin Haley all but out of this thing unless he notches a win in the next two races. Chances of that happening? Eh, pretty slim, but you never know. Texas, I think things are going to be wide open. I don't believe we're going to be dominant at Texas. I'm still going to be going for it. Trust me. I want to win every race for the rest of the season and lock these guys out and make them point their way in. But uh, all I can do is all I can do. We put a little money into the pit crew to make them a little bit faster, a little more consistent. Let's get this car loaded up and head out to the Lone Star State. Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. David Starr hasn't forgotten. Watch out. I don't care. Chase Briscoe, pole winner. That's exactly what he needs, considering he is under the cut line right now. Landon Castle had to replace transmission before the race. He'll be in the back. Sorry, Landon. Hate it for you, brother. But we'll be starting in the 22nd position, I do believe. I think it's 22nd. It is 22nd. Right next to Brandon Jones, our good friend CFF, Chad fucking Fincham, right in front of us. Ten laps here in stage number one at Texas. The car felt okay in qualifying. I ended up putting our Kansas setup into... Oh, oh, whoa. I ended up putting the Kansas setup into this. Uh, it was so good at Kansas, I figured, why not try it here at Texas? and see if maybe that's just sort of our golden mile and a half setup. I mean, it seemed it seemed okay. It felt pretty composed and balanced. It seemed to react to this track pretty well. It just, uh, you know, it wasn't fast and qualifying, but I think in the race we'll be okay. All right, go use the top there, Chad. That works. We'll see you. Oh, we got old man Joe. Old man Joe is going to block us. Brought our best car, 90s across the board. So, you know, I'm not, uh, like I said, we got the next couple of weeks off in essence because we're already locked into Phoenix. But if I if I can win out, that would be, Joe, stop it. God damn it, Joe. It's completely unacceptable to race like that, Joe. Joe. I don't want to have to race you like this. I really don't. I'd appreciate it if you didn't race me like that. Joe, this is your last chance to stop driving like a fucking tool. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. Well, we're halfway through stage one, and I haven't done shit yet. I mean, I have not done a damn thing. I haven't passed anybody. I'm too busy getting beat up by old man Joe right, Nemechek. Right. Oh, look at Justin Haley. Eighth out of eight in the playoff standings, running 20th. Oh, where are you going, Brandon Brown? Oh, he, oh, he overcorrected. He's in the, he head on into the wall. Oh my God, he's dead. Head on into the wall, and that's the end of the stage. Why, Brandon Brown? Why? Whatever. Doesn't affect us. We'll pit, and we'll move on to stage two. Remember, let's supercharge this pit crew. We upgraded them a little bit, but they still need a little help. They need your help to pull off a fast pit stop and get us some damn track position. One like on this video equals one-tenth of a second faster. So hit that like button right now. Let's supercharge the pit crew and bust off a fast pit stop. Please, let's do it. Here we go, boys. Hey, we gained a spot. Thank you. Perfect. Stage one is done. Stage two for you coming up right now. We got a very angry... Tommy Joe Martins. You know, it wasn't bad enough I had to deal with fucking Nemechek. Now I got to deal with Angry Joe. 
or Angry Tommy Joe. Oh, I was thinking of Angry Joe. I like Angry Joe. Uh, 12 laps here in stage two. I didn't make any adjustments on the car. So let's try and get the hell out of town. Get up towards the front of these. Get away from these angry drivers who hate us. Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, Chad. I don't think so. All right, now I can run the bottom. Let's do something with it. It's amazing how dominant we were at Kansas last time out. I told y'all, I said, Texas is, we're not going to be good at Texas. We're not going to have the dominating performance that we had. Texas is just weird. I, I had a feeling we weren't going to be kicking their ass like we did at Kansas, which is why winning Kansas was so important, why it was such a big deal. But I felt this, this race was really going to be hard for us. Look at him, three wide up there in front of us. Hell yeah, they're going to get it figured out. Nice and racy. I like it. I like it. Car feels good. It's a little bit snug, but not too bad. It's certainly not like wrecking loose or anything. We'll go three wide on you, Joe Graff Jr. We'll do it. We'll do it. We're not going anywhere, but we'll do it. Boop. Boop. Okay. So Texas has this weird thing out of turn four where if you hit the exit wrong, the car just keeps turning. And I don't know what it is. It's kind of like the weird thing in turn two at Darlington. It's just the way they have the, the track modeled in this game. There's this weird thing coming out of turn four, and it will absolutely turn your ass around if you're not careful. It's like a weird transition or a bump or so I don't know what the hell it is. It's not there in real life. It's just a NASCAR heat thing, like so many others. Just NASCAR heat things. Well, we are moving now. Cars come to life again. Yep, six, seven laps into a run. That's when this baby really starts humming. And she is motoring around Texas Motor Speedway now. A little crossover on Ryan Sieg. Oh, baby, that's a good move. Yes, sir. Well, I don't think we're going to win this stage, but we could get some stage points. Not that we need them. Doesn't really matter. Points are irrelevant to us at this point since we're locked into Phoenix. But we can keep other people from getting stage points. That would be funny. We can sort of be a little troll. Up, oh, up, oh, I almost did it. I almost did it right. There. It's just, I don't know what it is. I hate it though. They need to fix that for Texas, for future games. That just, that needs to go away. And whatever the turn two thing at Darlington is, that needs to go away too. I hate them both. White flag here in stage two. We're not going to win it, but we're going to get damn close. Holy hell, this car is flying. Absolutely flying. We're up inside the top five. Going to pass Harrison Burton here. Set our sights on Ross Chastain for second before the end of the stage. Cindric's going to win the stage. And here we come. Around the outside of Chastain is going to be a drag race. We get him for second. All right. Cindric with the stage win. We get second after a big drive up through the field. Holy hell. We needed every one of those laps to get there. One more lap and we might have won that stage, but car's pretty quick. I'm happy with it. It's fine. And now we can settle in for the rest of the race that we got some track position. So let's do it. Another pit stop. You know what to do. We'll see you for stage three in just a moment. Stage two is through stage three. Let's see if we can get a win here at Texas. Pit crew gets the job done, keeps us in the second spot. Cindric will control the restart here. And we are away for another 26 laps of racing to finish this thing out. We can go 13 laps on fuel, just like at Kansas. We'll see what this baby does. Now that we got some track position, 
Maybe, maybe it'll be good. Maybe, maybe it can be a dominant car. I don't know. Not going to be if I keep running the top, that's for sure. All right, well, work for Michael Annette. God damn. Dropping like a stone. I mean, look at him. They are absolutely motoring me through the three and four. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Inside, inside. <laughs> easy. Now, remember when we were second? Yeah, I remember too. So we fell back and settled to around 16th after restarting inside, second. Inside. That's right, awesome. Shades of what we saw earlier. Oh, we got a caution. Somebody smoking in front of us? Ross Chastain. Uh-oh. Ross Chastain. Playoff implications for the watermelon man. Was it just a blown tire or did he blow up? Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody's going to be pitting here. It doesn't really do us any good to pit ourselves other than just getting fresh tires and passing people. We'll stay out. No reason to pit. All right, let's get ready for the restart here. The question is, is did Ross Chastain survive or is he out? I don't see any I don't see any dots on pit road, so I think Chastain's okay. He's just gonna be in the back of the pack now. We still got one pit stop to make before the end of this thing. So his championship hopes are not completely destroyed, but he's gonna have to put on a hell of a drive to make up some points in this race. I'll tell you that right now. That is not a good position to be in. Try and keep this thing pinned on the bottom. So not go up there and hit Hemrick. I didn't realize we were three wide. Good Lord. Joe Graff was making that high side work. But, ah, 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 ah. Uh, we almost did it. Almost did it. You see the car just move back and forth. Oh, you're fine, Brandon. You're fine. Blocking. Come on, Riley. You're going to block. You're going to get sent. Riley. Stop being so concerned about blocking me and drive your shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get loose, dumbass. Quit blocking. Looks like we got about five laps or so until we got a pit. Austin Sindrick is checking out in the lead of this race. Just absolutely gone. Look at, look at Fast Pasta up here in third. Anthony Alfredo, man. Great run. We'll get the job done up to third. Now we got the two Ford Mustangs in front of us of Cindric and Briscoe. Briscoe having exactly the type of run that he needs. Again, he won the pole, had a terrible race at Kansas, came into the race fifth in points, but currently running second, doing a nice job. This is going to help him out a lot, especially with Chastain having the issue that he had. We could see a big flip flop in the points after Texas. We just passed him like he was standing still, though. Come here, Cindric. We'll stay out, run one more. We'll pit this time by. Oh, the caution! Oh my God, the the timing of this caution flag, absolutely insane. Well, we'll pit. <laughs> that takes all the drama out of that. Every time NASCAR heat, every time it's about to get interesting with strategy. Nope. Hey, the pit crew. They felt the love from you guys. They got us out in the lead. Hell yeah. See, that's what happens when you hit the like button for pit stops. It works. It absolutely works. Eight laps to go. Let's go win this damn thing. Oh, here comes Briscoe. Oh, here comes Annette. Like a repeat of Vegas. Got one peeking inside. Annette, Gregson, the JRM teammates working together. There goes Briscoe as well. He needs a win. A win and he's in. That would be really good. But look at Michael Annette, dude. He's scooting. And look who made his way back up to the top five. Ross Chastain. Wow, what a job. What a job for Ross Chastain. 
I said it was going to have to be a, a hell of a recovery drive, and he's done it. Meanwhile, we're back to our old ways of us being absolute dog shit on the uh, short run. Getting destroyed by the AI cars. Hey, if Michael Annette wins, fine by me. Non-playoff driver, I don't care. But he's got company in the form of Ross Chastain, who just took the lead. Oh my God, Chastain's a man on a mission. He's insane. From the back to the front. Oh, Gregson into the wall. Noah Gregson blows a tire into the wall. Caution flag waves, and that changes everything. Wow. Drama here in the Lone Star State. Noah Gregson, playoff implications into the wall. Oh, my goodness. And we will have NASCAR overtime. Green, white, checker. We're not pitting. Oh, baby. Hold on to your butts. It's about to get good. Here we go. Chastain needs a win to move on to Phoenix. Michael Annette wants to spoil the party. Briscoe on the outside looking in. Needs a win as well. Cindric's up here in the playoffs. Allgaier's up here in the playoffs. And we got two laps to settle this thing. Yeehaw style. Got a car coming inside now. All right, big push here, Cindric. Better do something with it. Ah, it didn't stick. Get to the bottom. White flag. Ross Chastain leads it. Chase Briscoe wants it. Oh, Chastain's not quite down there to block him, but he gets the run off the corner. Briscoe looking, trying to get there. Can't quite get to the quarter panel. Oh, Chastain goes high in three and four. Briscoe follows him. What are you doing, you absolute fool? Out of four. Ross Chastain's going to Phoenix. He wins it. Oh, my goodness. What a recovery for Ross Chastain. Oh, my God. Now, that's good stuff right there. We get fifth, but wow. That was great. The end of this race had so much drama to it. Oh, this is the great, this is the best race of the year. We didn't even win. This is the greatest race of the year so far. Smash that fucking like button, man. God, that's good stuff. Ross Chastain with one of the greatest comeback drives I've ever seen an AI car make, gets the win and punches his ticket to Phoenix to join us. Chastain, remember, brought out a caution with a tire failure, went all the way to the back of the pack, and drove up to win the race. Unbelievable. Chase Briscoe, great run in second. Good point state for him. He definitely needed it. Allgaier third. Segan fourth. We get fifth. Annette was in a position to win that race, finishes sixth. Cindric in seventh with a stage win. Alfredo, Ray Black Jr., and Daniel Hemrick round out the top ten. Wow, what a race, man. That was great. Even for NASCAR heat standards, that was outstanding. Hell of a job. Ross Chastain, the watermelon man, smashing that watermelon in victory lane. On the finish line. Austin Sindrick, the fastest lap of the race. He was very quick, led a lot of laps. Yeah, 31 laps led out of 52 or whatever we ran. 22 was hooked up. We were on the move, 22nd up to fifth. Car was very nice today. Very, very nice indeed. And tough break, Gregson, you saw that final caution from 10th to 33rd. Yikes. That's, that's tough for Noah. That is really tough. Check his social media. Justin Allgaier says, that was a sweet top five at David Schildhouse. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate you noticing. Well, that'll do it for Texas. Let's take a look at the updated point standings with two races left in the season. We're in. Chastain is in now after that incredible come from behind victory. It uh, is just unreal, man. That was that was really cool to see. Cindric now sits in third, plus 19. Harrison Burton, 
uh, plus eight over Briscoe. So even with a second place finish for Chase Briscoe, he really didn't even gain ground. I think he lost a point, to be honest with you. Uh, so that's tough. He's going to need something big to happen at Martinsville for him to unseat Burton. Allgaier's in a must win. Noah Gregson, after his heartache at Texas, is in a must win. And Justin Haley is absolutely a must win. So uh, I think Cindric's safe for the time being. And it's really going to be between Burton and Briscoe as to who gets in. And that's going to play itself out in the next episode at Martinsville. This was a fun race, really, really fun. The most fun race of the season, in my opinion, and certainly the most surprising outcome of the season as well. So uh, I, I'm pretty juiced after this one. I hope you are as well. Again, if you enjoyed today's episode, let me know by leaving a thumbs up and a comment down below. Give me your thoughts on today's race at Texas. Ross Chastain getting a win. The Watermelon Man out of nowhere after problems comes back to win the race. What do you think about Noah Gregson blowing a tire right in front of us and putting himself all but out of the playoffs as a result? Unbelievable stuff here at Texas. And we'll square it all up in Martinsville. We'll get two more guys to come with us to Phoenix, and we'll say goodbye to four more drivers. But that'll we'll have to be in the next episode. As always, if you're new to the community, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us. We are racing to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and I need your help. So if you haven't yet subscribed, I hope today is the day that I earn a subscription from you. If you want to get in touch with me, you can do so via social media. All the links to that down in the description below along with my community Discord. would love to have you join us over on Discord. Say hello, talk with some other race fans, and get to know the community a little bit better. I appreciate you checking out today's video. We'll see you next time in Martinsville. As always, be good and be good to each other. We will see you in the next episode.